Welcome to our tutorial on using eHRAP Archaeology, a database produced by the Human Relations Area Files at Yale University. Anthropology is the study of humankind, at all times and in all places. Anthropologists believe that the best understanding of the human condition arises from a comparative, holistic, and global approach. There are four major subfields of anthropology. Archaeology focuses on the cultures of the past, particularly in prehistory before extensive written records are available. How do archaeologists study culture in the distant past? Whereas cultural anthropologists study learned and shared behaviors that we call culture, largely by conducting field work amongst living people, archaeologists study the tangible results of such patterns of behavior and the evidence of human activity through excavations and surface surveys. Without written records, archaeologists must think from things by studying artifacts and other materials in the context in which they are found. Archaeologists also use knowledge gained from other subfields of anthropology and related fields. Like other anthropologists, after collecting and analyzing data, archaeologists publish the results of their analyses in the form of reports, articles, and books that allow readers to understand particular sites and the broader traditions in which the sites are embedded. Taken in its entirety, the archaeological record gives us a picture of the amazing diversity of human culture and the differential persistence of cultural traits across time and space. Without written records, the function and meaning of materials found at archaeological sites is not always clear. So, many archaeologists find that it is useful to study the recent ethnographic record in addition to the archaeological record. This is because the artifacts and other materials found at archaeological sites do not speak to us, and therefore it is not always obvious what a particular object was used for or what it might symbolize. Cross-cultural researchers use ethnographic and archaeological records to discover and explain patterns and variation in human cultures, past and present, asking questions such as, which aspects of culture are constant across human societies and which vary? What accounts for these similarities and differences? To answer the first question, cross-cultural researchers describe the frequency of certain customs across a representative sample of societies. But most are also interested in answering the second question, moving beyond mere description by trying to explain cultural similarities and differences. Cross-cultural researchers derive testable explanations from theory, known as hypotheses, and use the evidence of the archaeological and ethnographic records to test these hypotheses. Sometimes a hypothesis is supported, and sometimes it is not. But either way, we learn important information about what predicts different cultural patterns. Archaeology, to the extent that it is a discipline interested in processes of cultural variation and change, must include comparative methods. According to archaeologist Peter Peregrine, there are three major types of cross-cultural comparison. Comparative ethnology is the comparison of ethnographically known cultures or cultural features. Comparative archaeology is the comparison of archaeologically known cultures or cultural features. Archaeoethnology is the comparison of archaeologically known cultures or cultural features in a diachronic mode. Each of these forms of comparison can be useful when using EHRAF archaeology. Created in 1999 to facilitate comparative and cross-cultural research on primarily prehistoric traditions 
ERAF Archaeology contains hundreds of documents describing archaeological traditions from around the world. The list of traditions is drawn from the Outline of Archaeological Traditions, or OAT, and is then incorporated into HRAF's Outline of World Cultures, or OWC, a classification system for the world's cultures. EHRAF Archaeology includes both a random sample of traditions and selected tradition sequences. These traditions are organized by region, subregion, and subsistence type. EHRAF Archaeology currently contains over 100 traditions, with new traditions added to the database each year. Using the Outline of Cultural Materials, or OCM, a classification system for anthropological subjects, HRAF anthropologists have subject indexed each document at the paragraph level. The OCM contains over 90 major subjects, with over 700 subcategories. With what we have covered thus far in mind, let's take a look at the database itself. Traditions in the database can be found via the Browse Traditions tab. Traditions can be browsed using the A to Z index or searched for by typing into the filter index. Traditions can also be browsed by region and by current country. For each tradition, there is an indexed tradition summary, collection description, and list of collection documents. Subjects or OCMs can be found under the Browse Subjects tab. Subjects can be browsed using the A to Z index or searched for by typing into the filter index. Suppose we are interested in architecture. Using the A to Z index, we can click on the letter A to find the relevant subject codes or we can begin to type architecture into the filter index. Subjects can also be browsed under the Major Subjects tab and under the OCM Identifier tab. With what we have learned in mind, let's set up a search query. Click on the Advanced Search tab. Choose any or all of the traditions that you would like to search under the Add Traditions column. If you do not add any, all of the traditions in the database will be searched by default. Let's choose Add All in order to see the populated list. Use the Add Subjects column to choose any or all of the subjects to be included in the search. Continuing with architecture as our example, type architecture into the filter index. Select the architecture identifier, number 341, the dwellings identifier, number 342, and the grounds identifier, number 351. Above the list, there are two Boolean operators, and, and or. Boolean operators connect and define the relationships between the terms in a search. AND is used to include all of the terms in the results. OR is used to include any of the terms in the results. NOT is used to exclude terms from the results. Let's choose OR in order to broaden our results. We will return to the Add Keywords column in a bit. For now, click Search. The search results populate at the top of the page. There are options to narrow results by subsistence type and sample, which we will return to later in the tutorial. The results are organized by region, subregion, tradition name, OWC, subsistence type, the samples that include results, the number of documents, and lastly, the number of paragraphs. Scrolling down to South America, then to the Central Andes, we find the Inca. 
Clicking on the tradition name brings us to the document and paragraph results page. On the left, we find three sortable columns, results, document, and time coverage. We also find three columns to the right. The subjects, OCM column, contains the subjects that can be found in that paragraph, with the searched for codes presented in bold. Results are given in snippet view by default. Clicking on Show Paragraph brings up the full paragraph, and clicking Show Page brings up the result in its full page context. To the left, the table of contents features publication information, as well as front matter, such as the preface, the body of the text, organized by chapter, and its back matter, such as the references list. The publication information page contains a wealth of information about the text, including an abstract written by a HRAF analyst. On the lower left, there is a button labeled Cite that provides the citation for the text formatted in four different formal styles, along with options to export the citation. Returning to the full page view of the result, clicking on the page list to the upper right reveals a list of page numbers, with each result found in the text, indicated by a magnifying glass icon. Returning to the Advanced Search tab, let's try combining subject codes with keywords. But before we begin, there are a few things to point out. First, be sure to truncate search terms using an asterisk as needed. The term architecture must be truncated by typing the word architect with an asterisk following the last T so that the search results include its variant endings such as architects and architectural. Second, be mindful of the Boolean operators between the add subjects and add keywords columns. Let's choose the OR option. Then, click search. Again, scroll down to South America, then to the Central Andes to find the Inca. As you can see, keywords appear in bold, which makes it easier to skim the results. Return to the main results page by clicking on the Tradition Results link at the top of the page. Scroll to the top to find the narrow results by subsistence type and by sample options. The left side contains nine different subsistence types by which the search results can be filtered. Hover above a subsistence type for a brief description. The right side allows users to filter the results by sample. In this case, the simple random sample is the only filtering option. The simple random sample is a non-stratified sample of traditions randomly selected from the OAT. There are over 45 traditions in the simple random sample, with new cases added from time to time. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to use the eHRAF Archaeology Database. Be sure to check out our other tutorials and stay tuned for additional video content. In addition to subscribing to our YouTube channel, you can follow us on Twitter and on Facebook. And be sure to subscribe to our newsletter by visiting our homepage at hraf.yale.edu. Thanks again and enjoy your research with eHraf Archaeology.